Hey everyone, welcome back. I figured since I just did a tutorial uh, on gradients in Illustrator, I might as well show you how to do gradients in Photoshop because even though it's similar, it is a little bit different when we switch over to Photoshop, which is pixel based. Um, so let's just walk through it quick. Basically, when you, this is your gradient tool over here on the toolbar. If by chance this doesn't show up, it's probably a paint bucket because um, there's two, under, two other tools underneath the gradient tool so just click and hold until you get the gradient tool and um, you probably let's see your Photoshop probably defaulted sorry I had some settings switched around here your gradient is going to default to the two colors that you have chosen for your foreground and background um, and that will show whatever gradient you're using is going to show up here in the left hand corner. So if you click and hold this arrow down, you'll see though that there are other preset gradients in here. But your default is this first one that is just going to fade from foreground to background. And actually, if you have your uh, gradient um, palette open here and you hold your mouse over these different ones it tells you like this one says foreground to transparent so whatever color is in your foreground is gonna fade out to zero percent and this one is just a simple black to white and then there's a bunch of different colored ones so just for the basics let's start or keep it with this first setting which is foreground to background and we're gonna have our gradient tools selected and you'll see your mouse turns into a crosshairs and basically to get your gradient on your artboard you just click anywhere and drag so it's gonna create a line click hold and drag let's just start top to bottom it's gonna take a second or two to render that <clears throat> so that one's probably hard to see because I don't have a lot of difference between dark and light so let's switch our background color and then let's do this again top to bottom so we're going dark to light light to dark there we go and <clears throat> we want to make sure that you can see in mine it's not a straight fade because I had it on the last tool here the diamond gradient but let's start out make sure that you're on this first linear gradient and draw it so it should fade background to foreground there we go now you can see it light to dark so going through these other options you have a radial and your radial gradient you want to do from the middle out when you click and drag click from the middle and drag it out and that will be the center point so now you can see it starts out lighter in the middle and fades to darker on the outside so that's the radial and then we have I think this one's called yep the angle gradient and the angle gradient is similar to radial you want to start in the middle and just drag out towards the edges and then you can see it's like it starts like a clock and the gradient goes around in a circle so with a hard angle at the top and you can switch that direction by click and drag down to the other corner that hard direction is gonna switch so on to the next one this is called the reflection gradient I believe and what it does is just we're gonna start in the middle and go up and it just reflects so it's dark at the top and the bottom and light in the middle and we could click and drag out to the left and it just changes the direction so this gradient is really cool and easy to use like when you're doing um, when you want to give an object depth like say you drew a tin can or um, anything round this gradient gives the perception that your object is rounded and the light is hitting it right in the front and then it's shading around it so I use that one actually quite a bit and then the last one is the diamond um, gradient and we're just gonna click bottom to top 
It's, it's really subtle. Let me see if I can adjust that and make it lighter so you can see it better. Bottom to the top, there. You can see now that there's a diamond pattern here. I, I don't use this one very often, but I wanted to show you that it's there. So that's the default um, foreground and background color gradient, but you can also add as many colors as you want. If we pull up our um, swatches here, and let's just double click on this far right one. And if you double click on that square, let me show you that again, where it shows you the gradient, just double click on there, and then it brings up your editor. So it's showing you in the slider the colors that are currently on there. And all we have to do to change it is <clears throat> double click on whatever color you want to change. And let's do, let's do another rainbow. So we're going to do red. And then we got to add some colors in here because we're going to have more than three. So you just click and let's make that orange. And then click and we'll make that yellow green, blue, and purple. There. And then it's going to default name to custom, but we're going to just rename it rainbow. And do we want it solid? Yes. And the smoothness, you can adjust that if you want it to be a choppy or a smooth fade, you can change that. Um, let's retype that in. And then hit save up here. And you can save that actual gradient file onto your hard drive if you want. And then let's hit new. So if I hit new, it automatically added it to my preset gradients. So there's a couple different ways you can save it. So hit OK. And now we have our custom rainbow selected. We're on the gradient tool. And let's go ahead and draw it. Ooh, that's awesome. Um, can do just the normal. So let's see. One more thing. I want to see if we can... I thought maybe we could change the opacity, but I think you have to do that. Um, if you want to change the opacity of your gradient, you have to do that on the layer itself. So we can drop the whole <clears throat> layer opacity up or down that way. Also, if you want to apply multiple gradients, you could make a new layer and create an object or shape and then go back to your gradient tool and now we can create if we click and drag within our selection it will fill just that selection with your gradient so you can play around with that and do different things and again we can drop the opacity down of this if we wanted to um, there's lots of cool effects that you can do I just want to Make sure that we went over everything. Um, let's look at the mode. Oh yeah, you can change the mode of your um, gradient just like you can any layer in your document. It just gives it different effects. Let's see. There we go. Okay, so you have to change your mode. Let's do darken and then you have to reapply your gradient in order for it to do it. But it gives some interesting shapes. That is awesome. So play around with your mode and then your opacity is here too. And it's just adjusting the opacity of your entire gradient. So if we were gonna delete that, we have our opacity drop down and now I'm gonna draw a new gradient there. So it's at 60%. And here's the these little um, check boxes here. You can just quickly reverse your gradient. So um, I'm going to bring the opacity back up. Draw it over again. And, oh, I don't like it dark like that. Mm. 
So delete, delete. There we go. Gradient. Okay, drawing my gradient. There. And now we can reverse. So right now it's going from red to purple. And if we hit reverse, it's going from purple to red. So you can easily switch that out up here. I think that is all that I need to cover with you today on gradients. And I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful. Uh, make sure to check out, uh, there's a link below. Check out the Ultimate Photoshop Resource Guide. Um, it's got over a hundred links to all the greatest tutorials on YouTube. So if you want, download it super cheap spend a Saturday just filling your mind and brain with um, new Photoshop skills there's a lot of cool stuff that you can do out there I just wanted to compile it all into one place so there's a link in the video here or there's a link down below if you want to check that out otherwise until next time have a great week